Thank you for joining us on your weather station. I'm Chris Demersion. Christina, Christina has the evening off. Our top story at six, the Concordia Parish Sheriff's Office is using, using high tech equipment to help fight cyber crime. NBC 10's Valerie Barabi has a story and gives us an insight on how this technology is helping track down predators. The Concordia Parish Sheriff's Office has made over 10 child sexual abuse arrests since April of 2022. This new technology is giving law enforcement ways to track down cyber criminals. Everything from child pornography, children being exploited, and human trafficking. Officials say social media platforms are the main targeted sources for cyber crime. Everybody's using that. And, you know, it's just as easy as sending a friend request. And then this child accepts that friend request, and then the grooming process starts. Well, what do you like to do? You know, basically a child, is they don't have the mental capability to know they're being groomed by somebody. Lipscomb says they have encountered over 400 cybercrime cases since they first started the cyber unit program back in 2020, a program that is rarely used anywhere else. Officials say there are only eight devices in the state. We were able to purchase the equipment, but we did have the help, you know, partial funding from the Underground Railroad. Um, I'm not sure if that's something that we could have done on our own. However, the program has also helped other agencies across the state to help protect the most vulnerable. This program is rarely publicized given the sensitive nature of police investigation. Leafs comes to remind the community that cyber criminals are still out there. I would encourage them to uh, be mindful of where their children are at all times turn their locations on, um, download your parental control apps, and monitor their phones on a daily basis. Reporting in Concordia Parish and Valerie Moravi for your weather station. Thank you, Valerie. An 18-year-old has turned herself